This is not financial advice. This is just life advice, guys. Check this out. A big misconception is that just by having money makes you rich. But having money doesn't make you rich. It makes you poor. If you leave your savings in the bank, they'll be eaten up by inflation. That's why the rich people don't have money. They have debt and they have assets. And they use the money to buy more assets. And then they leverage those assets to borrow more money. This constant lending puts more money into circulation, which causes inflation, which eats up the money supply and also increases the value of their assets. Inflation is literally a tool built into the economy to make it easier for the rich to steal from the poor. Be smart, guys. Invest instead, just storing your money, but choose your investment wisely. Become an ape. And that's exactly right. That's how things work. If you ever realize, if you ever look into some of the richest people in the world, Look into how much debt they currently have. And you might ask yourself, well, if they're so rich, why do they have so much debt? Because this, this is exactly why. Three things you can do from Twitter to make AMC theaters trend, which I don't know about you guys, but AMC seems to be trending every single day, if not every other day. Now, number one, follow and like all of AMC theaters posts. Number two, one time each day, use the hashtag AMC. Three, share your AMC movie going experiences with a photo. 4 million retail investors strong, the largest investor consumer base of any stock. And I might be biased because obviously I'm deeply involved in this community, I'm deeply invested in the community, but it seems like AMC's community is the largest by far. And I want you guys to tell me down below, even compared to the Bitcoin community, even compared to the Dogecoin community, AMC is much, much larger. And we actually have a really beneficial tweet down below. It says, we need additional platforms too besides Twitter, Reddit, and YouTube. We need Twitch, Discord, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Those are all big, but we also need different things like Rumble, Getter, MeWe, and others. It's very true, guys. I do sometimes wonder and kind of worry that the Twitter and Reddit and YouTube communities are very, very strong with AMC, but there's so many more people out there. Let me know which platform you guys think would be best to take over next. We have a few tweets to go through. Unusual Whales tweeted out, the stock market turbulence may not be scaring off retail investors per market watch. We're not seeing retail investors respond in the way they normally have. And this ape said, haven't we been saying this since January 2021? And there isn't no way after retail investors caught the big bully with his pants down would make another mistake. He's going to have to run off with them. And down below, someone said, we aren't your grandpa's ape. We didn't leave AMC at 72. $7 split price, hold forever. We don't need to sell. Hedge funds need to buy. Hold all AMC ape. We win. Buy a preferred. Not financial advice. But we see all the TA, the data, the 100% utilization. We ride. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like on this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.